Okay, so it'll probably take like five minutes. Okay, and you don't have to answer long answers. You can just no. Okay, Don't say whatever. Okay, so what do you like and dislike about college? Um. Okay. <laughs> so um, I like that I can like have my own. I can be my own person and like be super independent mm-hmm. and like do kind of whatever I want within like limits, I guess. Mm-hmm. And like, I dislike that. <laughs> there's like there's like a lot of things but then at the same time there's not um it's like hard to I guess like it. well I guess I can like make it like about like SOU mm-hmm. a little bit cause like yeah no totally make it about SOU yeah well okay I don't like I don't like that it's far away from my house which is like or far away from home mm-hmm. um, that bothers me and then I don't like that like sometimes I feel like I don't fit in Mm-hmm. sometimes like every once in a while I'm like wow like these people are like I don't know I <laughs> don't fit in like I yeah. can't relate to any of this like mm-hmm. but it's fine like I guess the, that's like the only thing mm-hmm. I don't really feel that um what are some improvements you believe would make SAU a better university mm-hmm. I guess from like my own experience like some of the administrative stuff like can they not do anything? Yeah. Sometimes, like, sometimes no. they go to do things. Like, I've, like, fought with, like, financial aid before. Mm-hmm. And I've fought with, like, student life about, like, my reimbursements and stuff. So, like, I feel like there's a lot of, like, bureaucracy that mm-hmm. just, like, needs to be, like, streamlined or fixed or something. Definitely. Like, just that. Really. Financial aid drives me nuts. And so does advising sometimes, too. Yeah. Hard. There needs to be, like, more clear lines of communication with them. And, like, yeah. they need to get it together. Yeah. What would you change about college? About college? Um, mm-hmm. I think I'd change the cost. Yeah. College is expensive. And, like, I didn't ask for it to be this expensive. <laughs> but, like, here I am paying for it. So yeah. it's fine. <laughs> what are your passions? My passions? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm majoring in communication, so I really like communication and, like, media and, like, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. What's an ideal location for your college? An ideal location? Mm-hmm. Um, probably at home, Orange County. Yeah. Um, what do you hope for after college? After college? Mm. Probably go back home. Like, I want to, I hope I go back home, mm-hmm. but, like... And, like, get a cool job. Um, what job connections are you looking to get? And how important are those to you? Um, I want to work in the music business. So, I want to get an internship at, like, a record label. Stuff like that. I think that's awesome. I'm interested in that. And, like, social media. I would love, like, love to run some companies, like, social media. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the second part? How important are those to you? Uh, they're pretty important. Like, mm-hmm. It's, like, going to be how I'll probably get a job is like <laughs> through, like, an internship or something like that. Mm-hmm. What are some struggles in college you experience? Um, like, the fitting in part, like, feeling like I don't fit in, like, it's probably not true and, like, it's fine. Mm-hmm. But, like, I had a hard time adjusting to, like, all the different kinds of people that mm-hmm. are in college because, like, I only ever went to Catholic school, so, like, Coming to SOU was like a huge culture shock for me. Mm-hmm. It's like Oregon's a different state than California, yeah. especially like Orange County and like Southern California. Like I had to learn to adjust because like Orange County is very conservative mm-hmm. and like Ashland's super liberal and mm-hmm. like kind of hippy dippy. Yeah. Like, so that was like a really big struggle for me because I'd only ever been mm-hmm. in Orange County and like didn't know what the rest. I didn't know like what Oregon was like because like. I'd never been to Oregon, but I, like, chose to come to school here mm-hmm. anyways, and I was like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you change your major? If so, why? Yeah, I did. I changed, I was a history major my freshman year. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> I didn't like it. I spent a lot of time in history classes, and I was, like, bored to tears. Yeah. And I didn't, I felt like it was really depressing. Mm-hmm. And, like, mm, history is cool, but, like, super boring <laughs> um but I changed to um communication at the end of the year and it like changed my life because I was like wow I can actually like take classes on stuff I'm I like and like I'm interested in mm-hmm. so yeah 
When did you decide on your major and why did you choose that major? You kind of answered that. Yeah, I kind of decided. I knew going into college I wanted to change it, but I was like, I'll try history and we'll like see what happens. Uh -huh. And then I like Googled. I literally like sat on the computer one day and Googled like all the majors at SOU and uh -huh. like read through each of them. Like literally all of them to like see what, what if something would like snap or like be cool. And I saw communication and I was like, ooh, that looks like fun. Like I like social media and like all of that stuff. So it worked. Was it difficult deciding a major? Kind of. Because like I, li I really loved history. But I knew I couldn't spend the next like four years like doing that. Mm -hmm. So I had to pick something that was like I could see myself spending the next basically four years doing it. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was kind of difficult. Okay, so this is part two, and it's just like eight, nine questions maybe. Okay. And um, it is in regards to our college that I talked to you about. Mm -hmm. Um, and so. You just answer questions in regards to that. The only thing I didn't tell you about um, our classes, you meet with an advisor, you get a set schedule. Okay. So you don't choose your classes. They have exactly what your classes will be because of your major. Oh, okay. And then um, you also, there's clubs that you have to join and activities you have to be part of. And we have like required assemblies that you have to attend and stuff um, because it is like, you're in your major, you're going to be in classes with the same exact people, you're not going to be in classes with other people. We want to like connect people who are of different majors. Um, and so that, that's how we do it. And we don't have sports, but we do have intramural sports and stuff. Sweet. Yeah. So does our college help solve any of the problems that you previously mentioned before? Yeah, kind of. Well, like, I feel like it solves the issue of like, not knowing what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. like, that's why I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I knew I was going to change my major. So I guess if I like went to that college, I would have been like, it would have been a suit. I would have changed sooner and been like, ah, like mm -hmm. I would have figured it out that I yeah. didn't want to do history. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the general education system at our university? Um, I get it, but I think it's stupid because like I don't want to take math or science because yeah. I don't like, I just don't like it. So I would rather take like more communication based classes, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like stuff that's actually going to help me. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the set schedule for the students based on their majors? I think it's good because it keeps you on track. Mm -hmm. Do you think being gar guaranteed an internship through school would be helpful? Yeah, I think so. Do you think having a job shadow would help you prepare for work after college? Oh, yeah. For sure. Do you think this program would make the transition between college and the real world easier? Yeah, I think it would depend on like what kind of internship they think you get or like all of that. But yeah, I think it would. Do you think being set up with various companies through the school would make it easier to make connections for your future? Yeah. Do you think the planned events would be a helpful way to build a community among the students? Yeah, because if you were forced to go, like, you're bound to make friends somehow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Do you think clubs and intramurals would help bring together students? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, having known what you wanted to do originally when you applied for college, would you consider our program? Yeah. Awesome. That's it. Thank oh, you so much. Sweet. Yeah, no problem. Okay. I finished.